Tonight, on True Stories, the Hoover Dam, one of the world's seven wonders. But who really built this engineering marvel? Popular theory states that brawny men with tools and boots were to thank, but recent evidence has surfaced that may disprove this theory. Beavers. The year, 1986. Ronald Reagan was holding it down in the White House. The Chernobyl disaster rocked the Ukraine. Bill Buckner's baseball boner. The internet was the holiday season's most popular toy. And the great film Independence Day won 12 Academy Awards. And the Hoover Dam finished construction. Down in the Black Canyon of the Colorado River, the Hoover Dam rests, dormant, but straddling the border between the states of Arizona and Nevada. She is waiting on the time when she will be called back into battle. The beast is said to be one of the sweetest displays of architecture and might. It is also popularly thought to have been built by the Sammy Jenks Construction Company and named after President Hoover. Tonight's program will prove that the dam was not and was really built by a different team, a group of anonymous heroes, a group of beavers. Yeah, we're on our way to the uh, Hoover Dam. Check out this beaver situation. The real Hoover construction team was led by a beaver named Harold M. Dixon, affectionately referred to as Harry Dix by his crew. He saw through all six days of construction on the dam. Harry was notorious for drinking on the job, sexually harassing the members of his crew, and for inappropriately touching lots of beavers. Beavers. Harry's crew lived on the fourth floor of the Golden Nugget Hotel and Casino in downtown Las Vegas, Nevada, a place that the guys named Beaver Town. The town was mistakenly frequented by many Good Time Charlies who thought that Beaver Town was a gentleman's club. Harold Dixon spent many long nights with the Good Time Charlies, and as a result, did many drugs and bad things. He was what the others in the crew called a sloppy beaver. Beavers. Construction forged ahead, regardless of Harry Dixon's antics. While Harry lacked any semblance of social graces, he made up for it with running a well-lubed operation. This allowed the build to be completed in under one week, a feat that did not go unnoticed in the community. I thought that aside from the 14 deaths, the building of the dam went pretty well. <laughs> Mickey Mouse, American icon. After six days, a crew of 12 beavers, and 46 pounds of concrete, the mammoth 700-foot-tall dam was complete. Grit, determination, resolve, purpose, fortitude, courage, strength, might, Bigger. These are all nouns. Harry and his crew had just created the most awe-inspiring creation in all of existence, ever. Beavers. Immediately after the build commenced, the booze and drugs started to flow freely like the water in Lake Mead would have if the beavers didn't block it with a dam. The beavers drank it down. They drank it down and did drugs with the Good Time Charlies. Their hangover would be epic. Epic like the gnarly dam they just built and were now celebrating. Meanwhile, in Washington, D.C., sinister plans to take the dam from the beavers were being formulated. Uncle Sam wanted the dam for himself and issued an order to take it from the beavers, by force. Now it's called Hoover Dam, the end.
fingers that'll take your jab.